Top 10! Top 10! We all love top 10 videos, right? There are all kinds of top 10 videos, you know, top 10 videos of the year, top 10 worst figures, and so forth. But this is a different kind of list. This is top 10 6 inch Star Wars figures that I don't have in my collection and that are produced. So you know, there are challenges when you are a collector of things. And uh, in this sport of collecting uh, 6 inch Star Wars figures, there can be a lot of struggles from time to time. Obviously because, you know, most of us have the same issue of uh, getting these figures. And that's the kind of thing that becomes harder and harder as time goes on. Obviously there are struggles with store exclusives, mostly for, you know, my fellow collectors in the US. but. Uh, it's a real challenge, a real struggle for us collectors who live outside of the US. And for me, being in Croatia, Europe, collecting these figures can be a real pain in the ass. But, you know, I love this sport, I love collecting uh, these kinds of figures, and so I really do have a lot of them. I have mostly the ones that I decided to buy that I wanted, I really wanted for my collection. And I'm not talking here about the figures that I purposely skipped on, because I didn't like them for some reason and I didn't get them for my collection. I know you guys in, in, in the US will understand me, but uh, I think that the guys who are outside of the US, mainly people who are in uh, Europe, will really, really understand my struggle. So, this will be the top 10 list of the figures that I don't have in my collection. And the reason for that is that uh, I wasn't quick enough, I wasn't fast enough, I didn't get them on time. And uh, so I was doomed to the secondary market on um, eBay. And so the prices are just, <laughs> you know... The prices can be a real deciding factor, you know, when you are when we are talking about eBay. We are talking about the 6-inch Star Wars figures, not just the Black Series, but all of the lines that are out there. All of us know that these different companies, you know, Mafex, SH Figure Arts, Bandai, Hasbro, a lot of them give us great Star Wars figures and uh, we are lucky that they are compatible to each other, you know, they are all in that kind of a 6 inch range. From time to time some of them can be a bit short, some of them can be a bit large, but mostly they are all in the same scale. So, at the start, we gotta have a few honorable mentions, of course. First one is the Black Series Jaina Solo from Legends. So this is a figure that I skipped when it came out and uh, I regretted a few weeks after that and it was really hard to find her later on the market like eBay and prices went up and so today it's really difficult to find her. From time to time I stumble upon that figure on uh, sites like uh, AliExpress but for the most part the figure that I that I find there is uh, not complete, it's not a complete set. So you do get the figure but maybe you won't get the helmet or lightsaber and uh, if they don't give me the whole set, you know, and I would love to make a video for that figure, so what's the point of uh, getting it if the set is not complete? The second honorable, uh, uh, the second honorable mention is the SH Figure Arts Han Solo from Episode 4, A New Hope. We have a Han Solo figure from A New Hope uh, in the Black Series line and it's one of the first waves that came out when the Black Series started back in 2013. And at the beginning, you know, when the figure uh, was uh, released, we all kind of thought that it's great. We were all hyped about the 6-inch line for Star Wars figures. And so, at the start, that figure of Han Solo from The New Hope looked great. But now, you know, that, I mean, some time has passed. We are almost 10 years away from when that figure came out and so... Today that sculpt and that paint job really looks bad on that figure. I mean, it's not a, a bad figure articulation-wise, you know, it's a, it's a great figure. But uh, it didn't age well. And so when you compare it to the SH Figure Arts Han Solo from Episode 4, it's day and night, you know. Uh, the head sculpt, it looks so much better. Articulation is so much better on SH Figure Arts. I mean, 
obviously you know it will be the prices are different this is a twenty dollar the black series twenty dollar figure and sh figure arts is like fifty to one hundred and so if you have to choose between two of them it's a no-brainer obviously cost is the issue you know but uh, the sh figure arts Han solo is so much better and i would love to have him in my collection but uh, from what i saw on ebay it now goes for around 100 bucks plus shipping and so it's difficult to get the figure now for for a good price the next one in my honorable mentions is uh, from the same line the sh figure arts obi-wan kenobi but from episode one the phantom menace this is one of those first sh figure arts star wars six inch figures that they made and when i saw that figure and it came out practically at the same time when they uh, made the uh, Darth Maul figure from The Phantom Menace. Those two, it's like they are coming together in one set. I did get that Darth Maul for around $100 and that's practically the most expensive figure that I bought ever. And so I would love to have uh, that Obi-Wan from The Phantom Menace just to have them on a shelf, you know, dueling each other, but uh, it's same as Han Solo, you know, all of these SH figure arts uh, uh, figures go for around 100 bucks now, so it's difficult to get them. The next one on my honorable mention list is the same character, Obi-Wan Kenobi, from the same movie, The Phantom Menace, Episode 1, but from the Black Series. And this is a figure that they made when they started using the, that uh, photo reel technique for for the faces and the figure looks really good it's you know when you compare it to the sh figure arts it's really not bad it's uh, one of those cases where you can go with uh, each of them and the last honorable mention on my list would be mafex the mandalorian beskar armor and the child it's a great set it comes with a lot of accessories and uh, mafex had some issues some problems when they started with these uh, Star Wars figures but they really improved in quality of their figures and stepped up their game and now we are getting uh, really quality products from Mafex not just in Star Wars line but in uh, all of their lines. Hasbro already gave us so many versions of the Mandalorian that I decided that I really don't need another one in my collection. Bandai Model Kit gave us two versions of Model Kit of uh, the Mandalorian, you know, the shiny one and uh, the matte one. And so now we have also the Mafix versions and there are SH Figure Arts versions. And so I really thought that I, I don't need another version of Mandalorian on my shelf. But, you know, if I could find him for a good price... Yeah. So let's now move forward to my top 10 Star Wars 6-inch action figures that I don't have in my collection. Starting at number 10, it's the Black Series Chewbacca and C-3PO, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. This is a great set. I do have a Chewbacca in my collection, but uh, I have the one from The Force Awakens. And at the time, it looked okay, but this new Chewbacca, I mean, I think it's the same body, you know, but his head sculpt looks so much better than the one they did on the Force Awakens one. And so it comes with that net bag that he has on his back in the movie where he has uh, the deassembled uh, C-3PO. You can have him on Chewie's back or you can assemble it and uh, I'm so sorry that I don't have it in my collection. At number nine is the Black Series second sister Inquisitor. Now this is a great figure that I skipped on when it came out and uh, at the time I didn't have Carl Kestis, I didn't have any of figures from the game. Uh, I think that I at the time didn't even play that game. Afterwards I did and I really enjoy it. I love it. Can't wait for them to, you know, put out official announcement for the, the, the sequel for the game. And so, Second Sister Inquisitor is a great looking uh, action figure. Actually, a lot of you guys ask me in the comments about, you know, will I make a video for that figure? And I am looking online if I'll maybe find that figure for a good price. Maybe somewhere it will pop up. And if I do, find her, I will get her and make that video. But at the time of recording this video, I don't have her in my collection and so she's on number 9 at my top 10 list. At number 8, it's the Black Series Jabba the Hutt. I don't have Jabba the Hutt in my collection. And I know it's, you know, a, 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 a hunk of plastic that just lies there and there are 
not that many articulation points and that's what you expect you know from a character like Jabba the Hutt you just need him to lie there and you, you can surround him with you know Gamorians and all other figures uh, it's a great piece for, for a diorama I think that this figure came out back when I was still not collecting these, these uh, action figures so yeah Jabba the Hutt is one of those that I would really really love to have in my collection. At number 7 is the SH Figure Arts Yoda from Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Now this is a kind of a deluxe uh, SH Figure Arts set. It's a Yoda figure that comes with the chair from the Jedi Council room and there are interchangeable parts where you can put him in a position where he actually sits and meditates in that chair and it's a cool looking set. I mean I'm uh, kind of you know surprised that Hasbro still didn't give us Yoda from prequels you know. So so this SH Figure Arts Yoda is the best that we have on the market at the moment of recording this video, you know, and uh, I don't have it in my collection. At number 6 it's again an SH Figure Arts uh, figure and this time it's the SH Figure Arts IG-11 from The Mandalorian. I do have an IG-11 from the Black Series and uh, you can check out that video on my channel. I That, that, that was a really uh, challenging video to make, you know, since I know a lot of you that have that figure know how poor his articulation is. And uh, I was really surprised when I bought the figure, when I got it in hand and messed around with it, I was really surprised on how many poses, how many really good poses you can get out of that figure since you know it's really restricted with the design but also it's uh, there's a, a matter of uh, scale with the black series version it's uh, kind of too small and the SH figure arts is uh, actually a better looking one a be it has a better articulation it's a better quality figure and it's a really big figure you know I kind of think that it's uh, a bit too big for me perfect scale for IG-11 would be somewhere in the middle between those two between the black series and the SH figure arts you know but it is what it is you can get the black series IG-11 for around 20 30 dollars now and uh, the SH figure arts goes for around 130 and honestly I really didn't even know that the SH figure arts is making IG-11 figure I didn't know up until I saw the review on the Fushis channel. Yeah, a really cool looking figure, big figure, great for your display, but I don't have it in my collection. At number 5, it's another bounty hunter figure, but this one comes from the Black Series line, and it's uh, the Black Series Dengar. This guy, when it came out, I actually skipped on him, because at the time I didn't have most of the bounty hunters but since then I got practically all of them but Dengar is a guy from those bounty hunters that uh, I skipped on and I didn't get and so today uh, on the secondary market on, on online stores you can find that figure for around 70 60 70 dollars and that's a bit you know, too high for a black series figure but it's Dengar and and I'll be on the lookout if I can if maybe I get lucky and find him for a better price and then I'll get him for my collection. At number 4 here we have the 112 Bandai model kit clone trooper. Now I'm a guy for model kits I love building model kits especially Bandai Star Wars model kits and even uh, Gundam or Gunpla kits but uh, I've built quite a few of their uh, Star Wars model kits and those kits are really great. The articulation of those figures is amazing. The best articulation that you can get from a 6 inch Star Wars figure. The finished uh, product, the finished figure is a bit uh, light but even though these uh, model kits are lighter, it's a hollow plastic you know, but uh, those figures the end result looks so good so proportionate and their articulation is amazing. So I didn't get that uh, clone trooper model kit and I that really sucks because it's a kit that gives you options, you get two helmets you so you can swap out and make 
the phase one clone and the phase two clone and uh, at the time of recording this video actually I went on to the Big Bad toy store and I saw that the Big Bad toy store actually ships to my country of Croatia. I'm a bit nervous uh, and afraid because of you know shipping import charges but uh, we'll see. At the time of recording this video I still didn't get that model kit but it's a good feeling to know that uh, there is uh, an option for me. At number 3 there is another Black Series figure and that is the Black Series Clone Commander Fox. Now I do have all of the Black Series uh, Clone Commanders except that Fox figure. And uh, for some reason uh, I managed to get all of the others for a good price but this Fox figure, man, it goes for around 70 bucks or even 70 euros on, on, on eBay and that's kind of too much too much and that's kind of too much for me that figure is missing from my collection so you know I have all of the other commanders but ah it sucks it sucks maybe one day maybe one day I'll get lucky and get that Fox figure for my collection I mean the articulation of that figure is not that good there are a lot of restrictions in the joints and so it's not uh, that posable compared to uh, new types of body or even Rex body. I really hope in the future that I'll be able to get that figure. And so now we are in the top two of the figures that I'm missing from my collection. Number two is the SH Figure Arts Anakin Skywalker from Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Now this is a great looking Anakin figure. I think, I mean, it's the best, for me it's the best looking Episode 3 Anakin 6 inch action figure that there is, you know. Hasbro gave us that older uh, Black Series figure from Episode 3, but uh, the older one didn't look so good. The articulation is not that great and even in their archive version where they where where they changed the face print still doesn't look good to me you know and so this sh figure arts is a really great figure you know they they give you a few different face expressions you even get the version where he has you know those uh, sith eyes i actually do have the sh figure arts obi-wan kenobi from revenge of the sith and so i'm missing i'm missing that shf Anakin Skywalker, that figure is a real pain in the ass because it came out a few years back and today you practically can't find him for less than, I don't know, around $200 or $180, so it's insane. But it's a great looking figure and I kind of hope that they will re-release this Anakin figure in the future, maybe, because the same situation actually happened with uh, Return of the Jedi, Jedi Luke Skywalker, and uh, that figure was really hard to find for a good price initially when it came out, and so they re-released uh, that figure, I mean, it's the same figure, but it has a different color of their uh, Bandai uh, logo on the box. And when they did re-release that Luke Skywalker, I actually got him for around 40 or 50 dollars. And so maybe this uh, Anakin Skywalker will have the same fate. I'm really hoping that it will, but eh, you never know. Or maybe down the line, Hasbro will give us uh, a new version of the Episode 3 Anakin Skywalker. We'll see. And at my number one top 10 figures that I don't have in my collection is none other than the Black Series, Emperor Palpatine and Throne Deluxe set. I don't have the Emperor in my collection. I don't have him. At my display there is Snoke sitting in his throne and that can't be the case, you know. For some reason when that figure came out it was obviously a Deluxe set and it was so hard to find for me because I live here in Europe and that set looks so good. That figure looks so good. It's such an improvement from the first version that Hasbro made. It's a figure that now goes for around $200 and I would really, really, really love to have that figure in my collection, but I don't and eh, it really, really sucks. What I do know is that uh, Hasbro announced that they will give us uh, Dengar and they will give us the Emperor in their uh, archive line. So I'm hoping that I will get those two guys but uh, I'm kind of anxious to see which version of the Emperor will they give us in that archive line because 
that first one really sucked. I mean, please, please, Hasbro, please, I'm begging you, give us the second version. I don't care on the number of accessories that you will give us in that archive version. I know that it won't compare to the deluxe set, you know, but please, if anything, give us that second version of the Emperor in your archive line. So, yeah, that's it. That's my top 10 list of the 6-inch Star Wars figures that I don't have in my collection and I would really, 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 really love to have them. It's a struggle, as I said at the beginning, for each of us that are collecting these figures. And I'm sure that a lot of you out there have figures that are missing from, from your collection and uh, down in the comment section, let's talk. Tell me what are the figures that are missing from your collection. Or maybe there is a figure that you were missing from your collection and uh, in time you managed to get it and now you are happy about it, you know, so let me know. I really love to read all of your comments, you know, and uh, talk to you and uh, exchange experiences in this uh, collecting sport and uh, yeah, I think that's it. This is a really painful list for me, especially those top three figures, you know. But yeah, I think I, I rambled enough for this video. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for, you know, going through the whole list with me. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.